Welcome to Crypto Dex World. So how does auto trading work? What if you had a bot to do it? That's what BitsGap is all about. Let's do this technical review. Hello everyone and welcome to BitsGap. Now if you're looking to trade and trade efficiently, this is for you. So make sure to stick around till the end of the video. But before we get into this, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Please do your own research, due diligence, and don't invest in anything you're not willing to lose. So this is BitsGap and it has different trading bots. Now first you might be asking, why would I use a trading bot? There's a number of reasons. One is because even if you look at trading signals and information all day long, you might be able to make accurate trades, but it's difficult. If you use a copy trader, sometimes it's easy to do, but you don't know who the best copy trader is to follow. Sometimes you just don't have all that information and you want to just let everything be automated. Well, what better way to do that with a bot? Sit back, relax, and enjoy your bot trading for you. So you can click here to start a new bot. They have the DCA bot for trading on rising or falling markets, the S bot, the grid bot for sideways channel markets, the grid bot with moderate risk and reward. You have the combo futures using a combo DCA and the scalper bot. So there's different bots to choose from. Let's take a look right here at the grid bot and see how it works and get some ideas on what we can do in this platform. So first, what you want to do is connect an exchange and you can click add new exchange here and either select Binance, KuCoin, Binance US, Gemini, BTC, Huboy, Kraken or Poloniex. After we've connected our Binance through API keys or logging in, we can select a bot here. I'm going to go with the DCA bot and I hit accept. We can see the exchange that it's trading on. We can see what it's paired to the different pairs, ADA, USDT, Algo BUSD. And we can also adjust long or short and see more details here. Also here we can see the different currencies you can trade in BTC, BUSD, ETH and USDT. And keep in mind, you can hover over here and see the general settings of how long and short works. Long is the bot will trade on the base currency to accumulate profit in the quote currency. And short is the bot will trade quote currency to accumulate profit in the base currency as well. So that helps understand that. We can also take a look at SBOT as well. And this one's interesting because you can select the exchange as well, the pair, your investment, and then you can actually have an approximation right here. You can set a low price and a high price, a grid step and grid levels and adjust that accordingly. So we can actually see as I change the grid, that will change here as well. Now to take note of some of the options, you have take profit, stop loss, trailing up and down and pump protection. And this automatically closes and the bot sells all base currency used by the bot. Total profit and loss in the profit currency when it's either higher or equal to the percentage you set. So you can set these different percentages and then basically if it goes higher or lower, it closes out. When the price reaches a specified stop loss level, if you lose too much, the base currency is used and it'll close the bot. You can have trailing up where it moves the grid up when the price increases and the stop loss feature is also dynamically following the grid. Then trailing down does exactly the opposite, automatically moves the grid down when the market price decreases and you have pump protection here as well. You can toggle these on or off. You can also see the different strategies and balances that you have right here as well. Taking a look at the classic bot, it is quite similar. We have Binance, we can select the pair, the investment we want, then we can also select the low and high, the grid step, and we have the same options take profit stop loss and trailing up and the information here and they also have the combo bot and this one you want to go to the api on binance create a new api with the futures permission enabled and replace the api key if you also want to do futures as well where they have spot history and futures history as a selectable option so those are the different bots on the trading tab. We can see what's going on. Binance US in the currency we chose. We can also see right here the available buy and sell. And we can see this in USDT, BTC, based on the limit, the market stop or stop limit. And we can also see what's going on in fluctuation and with the technicals right here and the recent trades going on. We can see what's going on in the market in real time, which is very useful.
Also, to see how your trading bot's doing and to keep track of your balance, you can see in the portfolio here all your different cryptocurrencies. As an overview, you can see open orders, the different positions you have, history and notifications. This is good to keep track of to make sure you have enough as well. And it also helps to take a look at your wallet here so you can make sure you have the appropriate funds to do everything. There's also a referral program and all you need to do is go ahead and click on these two hands shaking and it'll invite your friend to get 10 USDT from the first purchase of a paid plan and you get 30% commission from all purchases. You can take a look at that down below in the description for the referral program. Now the nice thing here is let's say you don't want to trade this let's say you have some money here but you're not sure about the bot exactly there are different options here such as the help center add to desktop and the affiliate programs and day theme but what's really helpful is the demo on or off now you can see i toggled on for the demo and i get my own amount to trade with and i don't have to worry about losing this and i have a total value so now i can go play with the bots and see how it works now keep in mind demo, I have the SBOT and the Classic. And now I can go ahead with the exchange, select that as I showed before, BTC USDT. I can select a higher low if I want. I can also toggle these options on if I want or keep them off. And then I can either back test or click start. Check all the information, make sure it's correct. Now I am in demo mode, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit confirm and I'll say starting up and I can see the balance conversion bounce one ptc and i hit confirm and now we can see the bot in action Now, if at any point I see something that I want to change, I can go ahead and click on modify and say I want to toggle on take profit. I can do that. Stop loss. I can do that as well. And then I can preview it before I do it. Or if not, I can just let the bot keep doing its thing and trading while I kick back and do something else. Open up another tab, work on something else, get some other work done, or just kick back and relax and let this bot trade for me. So that's why I think BitScap is very, very useful. It's user-friendly. It's easy to understand. There's a lot of these applications and trading bots that are extremely technical meaning that you're going to take hours upon hours to figure it out and even when you do sometimes it's hard to configure this is easy to do simply put you register you get some cryptocurrency in your wallet or on your exchange then you want to go ahead click start new bot and if you put it in demo mode you'll see these three if you change it you will see the rest of the options and then you want to go ahead select your exchange select any highs and lows and then simply allow the bot to do its thing which is why i think this is very very useful and a lot of people are going to like it and if you're excited about it check the link in the description below i'd love to know your thoughts about this do you find this to be a useful tool do you find it to be user friendly let me know what you think so if you enjoyed this review smash that like button hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell Make sure if you have any questions or comments, I know you're going to have some, let me know in the comment section down below if there's something you want elaborated on or there's something you want to understand. Also, hit that notification bell to know when I post more videos. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this technical explanation was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.